So let's let's take a look at what Ezra Miller had to say. All of you, take it. Uh, thank you. I'll try to make this fast. I'll try to make that the last pun. <laughs> Maestro has said it all and has said it well. And I just want to say that I love you, Maestro. Uh, I think you're amazing. And I think your work is monumental. Nothing short of monumental. Um, Barbara, our great champion, Disco, Walter, and Galen, and Marianne Jenkins, wherever you are, probably in England. Um, I want to thank Gardner Fox and Harry Lampert. Um, I want to thank, thank um, Bob Kaniger and Carmine Infantino for initiating this character into life. And I want to thank Zach and Deborah Snyder. And I want to thank Grant and Kristen Morrison for initiating me into the life of this character in so many ways. And I want to thank Pam Abdi. And I want to thank uh, Mike DeLuca. And I want to thank David Zaslov and the dynamic duo Peter Safran and James Gunn um, for your... Uh, grace and discernment and care in the context of my life and in bringing this moment actually um, to fruition. And I want to thank every single member of our unstoppable Boost Canal of a crew and our, our irresistible dream cast and um, just the thousands of artists and workers who made this movie, everybody who supported us in our lives and in the world and everybody who supported me in my life and in the world. Um, along this decade-long uh, trying and very beautiful peregrination. All the way to here, just to finally say, with actually no further delays, enjoy. Enjoy the flash. Okay. So, a couple things with this. Uh, one, you know, it's... I get why they would want like the main actor to speak about the movie. Like I get that you want the star to thank people. Um, I don't know if that was orchestrated by WB uh, because Andy Muschietti, who's obviously in Ezra Miller's, you know, corner on all this stuff. Um, he's the one who handed the microphone to him. And so I don't know if it was just Andy Muschietti going off book and just being like, I'm going to let him speak here. But what you just saw is what people are going to be mad at me, but what is called gaslighting. He just gaslit everyone, you know, with basically thanking everybody, which of course everybody wants to be thanked. Right. But the gaslighting is everyone who supported me, you know, during as if he's the victim. He just convinced people and was given a platform to try and convince them that this is about him and, uh, you know, that these things have happened to him and the compassion and the, you know, the gentleness from Zaslav and all these people, uh, all these people who make decisions about these kinds of things and James Gunn. And, you know, he thanks all those people for giving him the opportunity to continue with this project, you know, during this troubling time. You mean the trouble that you did to yourself? <laughs> like, no one made him do this stuff. He wasn't forced into it. Ezra Miller did all of this stuff. It is the responsibility of Ezra Miller to take, you know, all of the consequences for Ezra Miller. I'm just going to keep on saying Ezra Miller's name. Ugh. This person should stand before a judge for everything that they've done and should have the consequences. And yet here, he, here Ezra Miller goes to go and speak at the world premiere, given that platform, whether that's from WB themselves or whether it's from Andy Muschietti, they get, they get to go. All those people are listening to Ezra Miller say this, this I'm the victim. I'm the victim. Everything has happened to me. It's, you know, the no, 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 no. You know who the victims are? Maybe the woman that was choked. Maybe the minor that was groomed. Maybe the family that had their kid ripped away from them. Remember when Ezra Miller was on the run with this kid? You remember that? Where are, where, where's Ezra Miller? Where's this girl? Right? That's, that's what was happening just last year. But, you know, it's this beautiful moment. I'm so happy that everything came together so we could have this beautiful moment together. 
This is the kind of PR that just ticks me off and honestly makes me go like I have no hope. <laughs> like I have no confidence in Warner Brothers to do anything right about this. Hey, thanks for checking out this clip from the Daily Reel, my Monday through Thursday live YouTube show about movie news and all that kind of stuff. Uh, things about Batman and explosions and Batman and explosions. And if you like that kind of thing, think about subscribing. Anyways, uh, YouTube has another video over here that they think you'd enjoy. So maybe check that out and I will see you in the next one.